Today is July 1st and I just harvested a lot of things from the garden like garlic and onions and shallots. These are some of my most favorite things to grow every year. So I grew gray shallots. This is my second year growing them. My first year they didn't do so well. Uh, I planted those in a raised bed. I did plant them in the fall um, but my raised bed I think just got too warm. They kind of rotted away or something dug them up. They didn't come up. Uh, the ones that did uh, were not very big. So this year I'm real pleased with my shallot harvest. So here are my gray shallots right here. They are a very nice size. I planted these directly in the ground. I have kind of a more of a clay soil. I'm going to try to grow these again next year in another garden and compare them to see which soil they perform best in. I think the other soil will be better for them and that's kind of more of a sandy soil. Now here's some too and these are just a little bit smaller. I just need to clean them up. I've already been using these and I like to use these in um, sauces like a Bernay sauce, a lemon dill butter sauce. Um, I use them in some of my curry paste. It's just a really nice flavor. So there are some gray shallots for you. You will need to plant those in the fall as I mentioned, and I ordered mine from Territorial Seed Company, and they do sell out pretty fast if you want to plan to um, grow those this year, okay? And then down here, I have Armenian porcelain garlic, and so I think they did pretty well. I'm real happy about them. Again, I've already been using some of these in um, curry paste. I've just gone out and dug some up and used them when I needed to. Okay, so there's some garlic for you. I also planted all of these in the fall and so I'm harvesting them now. I did also do a spring planting of garlic and I haven't harvested that yet. They need just a little bit longer, I think. Uh, down here I have the red barren onions and I live more in a neutral day area for growing onions and I think red barren is a long day onion. So they don't get quite as big for me here, which I'm perfectly fine with. I do like the little small onions, the flavors here. As a matter of fact, I'll even pick them before they've bulbed up and use them almost like a little green onion or scallion, like a red scallion. So they're real nice. I like to grow the red barren and I planted those in the spring. And then over here I have yellow moon shallots. I've used these in a couple of different things. I really like the mild flavor of the yellow moon shallot. Um, I also planted those this spring. So I've just harvested those. So there you go. So this is just a little mini greenhouse and this is how I like to cure my garlic and onions and shallots every year. And I don't do this in direct sunlight. I just took this out for a brief moment to show you so you have better lighting so you could see this. But I'm going to move them inside my garage out of direct sunlight so they can cure nicely. It's real nice to have this kind of thing in your garage too because whenever you want some fresh really good garlic or a nice shallot and you're cooking in the evening you can just go down and pick up your uh, ingredients right out of your garage or wherever it is you decide to cure your onions and garlic. So thanks so much for watching. Have a beautiful day and have a happy fourth.